Alright, what is going on everybody, it's John here, and I'm back with another Modern Warfare commentary, and today I am going to be giving you guys my fifth monthly review of Modern Warfare. Now guys, first things first, I just want to real quickly let you guys know why I stopped daily uploading, which in case you guys didn't know this, I kind of started daily uploading once again as of recently, but put an end to that streak on Monday or Tuesday if I'm mistaken, and the reason to that is because although we are currently quarantined then we have more free time, I guess you could say, I have still been getting a bunch of homework and other types of work from school which has taken a lot of time away from me throughout the day. In fact, I've been doing homework for many hours these past days so yeah, what I'm basically trying to say is I'm probably going to be sticking to my old uploading schedule which is live streaming every Friday and uploading every Saturday and Sunday and here and there I may upload uh, throughout the week like from Monday to Thursday. Maybe I may upload on a Monday and maybe on a Tuesday as well if I'm lucky and then skip uh, Wednesday and Thursday and then wait till Friday and Saturday and Sunday but I'm not exactly sure yet because Again, I've just I've been a little busy with homework and all that and I don't want to start rushing out a bunch of videos and then I start focusing more on the quantity over quality. No, that will not happen. So yeah, again guys, I'm mainly going to be uploading still every Saturday, Sunday, uh, Saturday and Sunday and live streaming every Friday, but here and there I may upload throughout the week or maybe not upload at all if I'm very busy. But anyways, in this review, I am mainly going to be talking about multiplayer and the new added Warzone Battle Royale mode and <laughs> I might have a little bit more to say about Warzone than I do for multiplayer and honestly guys, I just I cannot wait to start talking about Warzone because yo, Warzone, all right, let me just wait till I get there. <laughs> but I still find it crazy knowing that we are already in the fifth month for Modern Warfare. I mean, Although this month has been very slow, or at least it has felt a little bit slower for me because of what's going on right now in the world, I still uh, find it crazy knowing that, you know, we're already in the fifth month for Modern Warfare and we kind of have a couple months left for it uh, before it's officially over, uh, it's life cycle, and then we move on to Call of Duty 2020 if there is a Call of Duty 2020 and it's not delayed. As always, campaign and spec ops, I'm not really going to be talking about them, or actually I'm not going to be talking about them at all because campaign is a one-time thing. I already reviewed it and gave it a 10 out of 10 in the first review, uh, monthly review for Modern Warfare, and again, I'm still going to keep it at 10 out of 10 because <laughs> the campaign here on Mother Warfare was amazing. So again, 10 out of 10 for the campaign. And Spec Ops, I'm still going to give it a 7 out of 10 because I have not played it at all. And I honestly do not have plans to play it anytime soon because Warzone drops. So yeah, I just, I've been playing a lot of Warzone and have had no plans to play Spec Ops at all. So I don't know when I'm going to play Spec Ops or I don't know if I'm even going to play Spec Ops at all this year, guys. But if I do... I'll let you guys know so I can give you guys a much better rating for it. But again, for now, it's going to stay at 7 out of 10. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So I want to start off by talking about multiplayer. Now, multiplayer is still pretty much the same thing it was when Modern Warfare first launched. I mean, not much has really changed. The minimap is still the same minimap. It's not the old school minimap where when you shot, you would pop up on the radar unless you have a suppressor. No, it's still the same new minimap where you can shoot as much as you want to without a suppressor and you're not going to pop up on the minimap at all. You're only going to pop up on the new compass. Uh, the map designs are still pretty much the same as well. Like for the new maps, uh, for example, Atlas Superstar. Oh my goodness, guys. I mean, Atlas Superstar could be fun, but at the same time, it could be very annoying because the amount of corners and safe spaces there are, oh my goodness, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, Ghost is still pretty OP, it has not been nerfed that much. And the w when I say nerfed, I mean um, it still doesn't... Um, make it or they still haven't made it to where ghost uh, only works if you're moving not standing still camping in one area for the whole entire game dead silence is still not a perk uh the footstep audio is still pretty loud even though uh infinity word supposedly nerfed it a couple months ago maybe like two months ago but i refuse to believe that because the footstep audio to me is still pretty loud but I'm not sure, maybe they did nerf it by like 0.1 decibels, but it was like a very, very slight nerf to it. And all that kind of stuff, you know, all these things I just mentioned, they're huge issues that many people have with the game, but I don't know, man. I don't think Infinity War will ever make changes to the things I just mentioned right now, because I think this is the way they wanted uh, Modern Warfare 2019 to be. I think they wanted the radar to be like that, where you could shoot as much as you want to and you won't pop up under, even if you don't have a suppressor. I think that's how they want it goes to be, that silence, you know, all that kind of stuff. And honestly, guys, at this point, 
it's not really a problem to me anymore because I have kind of adjusted to the new system, I guess you could say. I mean, many people as well. I don't really see that many people complaining about Ghost anymore. I don't see many people saying that, oh yeah, we need the old radar back anymore. I don't know. I just feel like more people are starting to quote unquote adapt, <laughs> adapt to the game. And I for sure have been adapting to the game. I'm not going to lie. In fact, I've been having a little bit more fun playing multiplayer as of recently and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I've been playing with more friends as of recently or maybe because, again, I've just been adapting to it a lot more or maybe because I'm about to unlock Platinum for my Assault Rifles. I'm not really sure, but I just felt like multiplayer has been a little bit uh, more fun. But it's not. It's still not uh, um, really fun to the point where I would play it by myself. No, I cannot play multiplayer by myself. I need to play with at least one friend because... <laughs> I don't know, man. I get pretty bored when I play multiplayer by myself here on Modern Warfare. I mean, on BO4, I could play by myself all I want to and I wouldn't get bored. But again, here on Modern Warfare, it's a little different. So for all of these reasons, I think I would have to give multiplayer a 6.5 out of 10. And you know what? <laughs> this is actually 0.5 um, better than in the previous uh, monthly review. I think in the previous monthly review, I gave it a 6 out of 10. And then in my third monthly review, I gave it a 5.5 out of 10. So... Yeah, this time around, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10, only because, again, I've been feeling a little bit better playing the multiplayer. And, yeah, I just, yeah, guys, I don't know. That's pretty much all I got to say about multiplayer, because, again, it's still pretty much the same thing it was, but it feels slightly better, <laughs> kind of. All right, moving on to Warzone. Now, I did make a review on Warzone last week, I think, and I pretty much talked about everything I liked about Warzone, but that was before I took my first dub, and now that I've taken my first dub on here... I just, oh my goodness guys, Warzone just feels even better, man. <laughs> it's always when you take that first dub, um, you just feel really good about the, um, a battle royale, I guess you could say. But let me just say real quickly that I've been playing a lot of Warzone as of recently. In fact, I've been playing it more than multiplayer, which is probably why I have not gotten my next um, weapon gold yet. And that's the AK-47. Once I get that gold, I'm going to get platinum for all of my assault rifles. But... <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Warzone has for sure um, caused me to slow down my progress on that because since I've been playing this so much, I just have not been focusing too much on, you know, um, ranking up my weapons and um, unlocking camels for them because I've just been focused on getting dubs and all that. <laughs> Honestly guys, at first I thought Warzone was going to be very campy, boring, and basically a downgraded version of Blackout, but <laughs> after playing many matches of it already, I just, wow guys, I really underestimated uh, the mode. And not really, I honestly had a feeling that it was going to be pretty good, but I, not as good as um, it turned out to be. And What's crazy, guys, is that it could be even better. Uh, the only reason why it's not, like, outstanding outstanding right now is because we still don't have duels. We still, ha uh, still don't have squads of four and five, which is pretty sick, man. I like, I like how Infinity Ward actually mentioned that we will be getting squads of five in the future, along with uh, squads of four and duels. But squads of five seems pretty interesting because, I mean, I heard that they're also trying to shoot for 200 players in total, if I'm not mistaken. So... If they did that and we had um, squads of five available to us, then that would basically be 40 teams of five all over the map. And <laughs> that would be crazy, man. I mean, just think about that. 40 teams of five roaming all over the map of Verdansk. <laughs> That's just crazy. And I cannot wait for that. But like I said, guys, the only reason why Warzone right now is just not, um, it's not like um, perfect, perfect to me is because we still don't have uh, squads of four, squads of five, and duos. Once we get that, then Warzone might just be even better. There have been many instances where I already have a full team of like five or something like that, including myself. And for that reason, sometimes we have to go play multiplayer because obviously right now we don't have that uh, squad of five option to play on Warzone. We only have squads of three and solos. So once squads of five come, it's going to be a lot of fun, man. And I, I cannot wait. And also, sure, there, there are a couple things that um, Warzone maybe did a little bit better than Blackout and maybe did a little bit worse than Blackout. But in the end, Warzone is still a really good battle royale and I just cannot wait to get back on it and play. So my rating for Warzone right now would be a 9 out of 10. And again, the reason why it's not a 10 out of 10 yet is because we still haven't gotten um, squads of 5, squads of 4, and duos. Once we get that, then I'll for sure make that a 10 out of 10, at least right now, because <laughs> it's just so much fun. And then I, again, I just, I'm waiting till I get back on it and take the... But anyways, guys, that is pretty much all I got to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe.
subscribe if you have anything, and turn on post notifications so you guys are alerted every single time that I upload. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Modern Warfare in its fifth month. Do you guys think it got better? It got worse? It feels the same? Anything, let me know. And for me, again, it depends on what mode we're talking about. Multiplayer feels the same. Uh, a little bit better, though, I guess you could say as well. Uh, Spec Ops, I don't even know. Campaign grade and Warzone, beautiful. <laughs> I'm just waiting to get back on that right now. So, for the last time, if you, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like. And hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Saturday. And without a piece of it, has been John. Ready to get back on the grind and get back on Warzone. And I'm out. Peace.